Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as we go super old school, and we'll see what we're going old school with in just a second. In ages long forgotten, light fought darkness for control of the world. Dark Dragon led the evil hordes of darkness, and Light Dragon led the good hordes of goodness. Kidding. The ancients fought back with the powers of light. Dark Dragon was defeated and cast into another dimension. The Lord of Darkness vowed to return in 1,000 years' time. Time passed, and Dark Dragon was forgotten by all. Ten centuries of peace ruled the land of Rune. Until the kingdom of Runefast brought war and fear to Rune. Hordes of evil creatures ravaged every land. Here and there, strongholds of good still held out. Awaiting a hero who could wield the powers of light and end the reign of darkness forever. That's just my own take on it. It's Shining Force, ladies and gentlemen, The Legacy of Great Intention by Sega in 1993 and Sonic slash Climax. I guess was the developer back then. And anyway, we're gonna hop in, we're gonna get started. This is one of my favorite games of all time from one of my favorite game series of all time. And when I say series, I mean the first two games. I think the third game is probably pretty good. I've never actually got my hands on it or got to play it though. However, the subsequent titles after that changed the format a lot and uh, I think it was worse for it. Like I played Shining Force Neo and I was not as impressed as I was with my older school games. So, going to Throwback Thursdays, it's a thing that I do where I play old school games, blah blah blah. You guys know what it is if you've been around the channel for any length of time. However, it's not 100% old school because it's supposed to be old school games like stuff like Disgaea 2. While it has been re-released on PC, it's still an older game and I go back, I play it, I enjoy playing it a lot. It's a lot of fun, it's great. A lot of the other games that I play are games that are... Uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe love letters, or they harken back to, or were inspired so much by old school games that they themselves feel old school, even though they're new releases. They have the pixel graphics and all that stuff. This is a true old school, old school game. It's one of my favorite of all time. It's a tactical turn-based strategy game where you get a squad of specific heroes, and you have to build them up. And it, it's just, it's a really cool game. And if you guys haven't seen it, you've missed out. This is probably always going to be in one of the or in all of, maybe all of, the top 100 best games ever made. Shining Force seems to almost always be in there. So, yeah, definitely something I'm going to hop in. I'm going to enjoy, after I finish this one, I will be playing number two. And just so you guys know, I do have an amalgamation or a collection, the Sega Genesis old school collection um, thing on the PS3. So I actually do own this game. I'm just recording it through an emulator right now on my PC because I have no way of recording the PS3. So, that being said, let's begin. Wow, Dark Dragon, Ancients, let's see. Now, what else does this old book say? Hmm. 1,000 years have passed since they vanquished Dark Dragon. And this book says Dark Dragon threatened to return right about now. I bet anything that Dark Dragon is behind the evil hordes of Runefast. I need to tell somebody about this, but who would listen to a kid like me? I think Dark Dragon's coming back. Will you help us? Come on, it'll be an adventure. Yes, yes, I will help you. Pick an adventure. I'm going to pick number one. Say, what shall I call you? You can call me anything, but probably a good call to call me by my name. Call me a Mr. Bumpy, or just regular Bumpy. That's totally fine. And bam, there it is. Let's end that. Nice to meet you, Bumpy. I'm a Simone. 
or Sim1, or Simone, or Simone, huh? Simone. Come back often and tell me everything. You need to get going. Evil spreads farther across Rune with every passing day. Chapter 1. Rune Fost Invasion. Bumpy! Bumpy! Come on, kid, wake up! I didn't hit you that hard. Ugh. Keep your guard up, kid. Those beasts of Runefoss will tear you to pieces. I know, it's like an old rugged guy. It's fine. Okay, that's enough for today. You better take it easy for a while. Alright, and here we are. I know, guys, the graphics are going to look, well, dated, because they are dated. The game's over 20 years old, so keep that in mind. I hope they re... It'd be amazing if they remastered this. Oh, oh, it would be so good. I hope they do that. They probably won't, but man, that would be awesome. Alright. So I'm going to be playing around with the controls a bit because I don't remember exactly what everything does. Okay. No, Bumpy, I think you've had enough for today. All right. So we got to go inside the house. Well, Bumpy, had enough swordplay for today. I don't know how you keep at it hour after hour. I'm dead tired after about 15 minutes. Well, you know, I've got the stams. I don't know how you blah, 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 blah. Well, I can't move if you're in the way, dude. So I guess I come back over here and be like, hey. You have the makings of a great fighter, Bumpy. You'll be tested soon enough. Move out of the way, kid. Lord of Varios, the king has sent for you. You must come at once. Of course, lead the way, guardsman. I fear the worst, Bumpy. Prepare yourself for true battle immediately. I'm prepared. Let's go. Oh, sorry, guys. The, the soundtrack is just... I, I know it's silly. It's a little ridiculous. It's infectious. It just gets into your head and you're like all day you're like doo -doo 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 -doo. It's just great. Did you see Varios' face? He went pale. Something really big is happening. Let's split up and see if we can't find out what's going on. I'll see you later. Alright, hasta luego, dude. Alright, so here we are. Boom 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 the Light and Darkness, How Green Was My Dragon, and many more books. Cool. Alright, let's talk with the old guy here. Eh? What's a youngster like you doing moping around? Get out and fight evil. Well. Alright, well let's get let's get going. I want to get some uh, action and I want to get to the, the fighting parts. Now keep in mind, guys and gals, I do have this stretched to fit the screen. It's It's a little wider than it normally is. So just bear that in mind. I considered doing it in the normal, traditional uh, 4x3 picture, but we're doing the 16x9, so just just be aware. If this doesn't look exactly like you remember, that's probably why. Nothing is unusual. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. Huh. Back and forth, up and down. Man, I'm tired of guarding this chapel all day. Me too. I, I don't guard the chapel. But if I did, boy howdy, would I be tired of it. Alright, let's head up. It's been a long time since I played. I played around for a few minutes. I actually died in the first battle, which is hilarious. Um, just to see if I remembered what I was doing. And I did. And I also had to get the controls and everything right. So, I really haven't played this in probably five years or more. But I have played... This is one of the few games I've played through at least three times. And I've really loved it every single time. No one enters here without Lord Avarios' permission. Alright. I think most of the knights hate me, too. Watch out, Bumpy. There are real knights training out here. You might get hurt. Yep, they seem to be pretty unhappy with me. That, that is the story of Arios. Mm. Then your majesty, we have no choice but to send Bumpy, a young fighter. That's right, a young fighter. I'm 34, but I'm young. On the inside, maybe. I, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, Bumpy, good. I was going to look for you first. Listen to the king. Yeah, I'll be back. I don't want to talk to you yet, man. I want to go talk to your daughter. Hey, daughter of Varios. Greetings, Bumpy. I am May, Varios' daughter. I sound like a weird male witch person. The other knights feel that father has wasted his time on you. We shall see. Yeah, we shall. But not right now. We shall see later. All right, let's talk to the king. For centuries, our people have watched the Gate of the Ancients as its guardians. Beyond that gate lies we know not what, not even if it is of light or the darkness. But the ancients knew, and they sealed it beyond the gate and set us as gods. And now we find that we may have failed in our mission, our reason for existence, 
Signs have been seen that forces of Runefast are at, this, are at the gate of the ancients. Whatever evil they are planning, we must stop it at all cost and at once. But we must not panic the people. No, we must not panic the people. A small group of young but skilled warriors. Yes, he could do it. He could lead the town unnoticed and have a chance to succeed, perhaps. Yes, Nova, I agree. Bumpy, will you take the task? Yeah, I will. Very well now. Return to town and gather your troops. Come back when you are ready. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, onward we go. Do, 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 do. I'll, I'll try not to do that, guys. I'm sorry. I know it's annoying. I can't help it. It's just... Yeah. I love it. Nostalgia, right? Nostalgia. Wait, Bumpy, Nova sent us. We're coming with you. I am Luke, the warrior. Hello, Luke. I am Ken the Knight. At your service, Bumpy. I'll follow you wherever you lead. I am Teo. I am only an apprentice mage, but I'll do my best. I am Hans, an elven archer. I'm coming, but don't put me in the front lines, all right? Luke, Ken, Teo, and Hans have joined the Shining Force. Meet us at headquarters back in the castle. Also, so you guys know, in the series, before we read what our boy here is telling us, in the be before the series, Shining Force 1 isn't technically the starting point. Shining in the Darkness is, but it's a different type of game I never was able to really get into. I do have that as part of my collection as well. And I'll try to play it, but like I said, I never really got into it. I just, it's so different from what this is that I just didn't really give it a chance. It might be really fun, so if you guys want to find a starting point, I would probably still suggest starting with Shining Force 1, but if you want to go to the true beginning, Shining in the Darkness is it, so you guys know. Hey, Bumpy, don't try to sneak out of town without me. Lo has joined the Shining Force. All right, Lo. Now that you have your comrades, return to the king to hear his final commands. I'll follow your progress and offer advice as you face vile hordes of Runefast. Well, that's settled. See you at the headquarters. Well, that was easy. Do, do, do. I can't. Mm, mm. It's going to be tough not to do that. Like, even when I'm playing on my own, I, I, I just I hum along or doot along to the, to the theme song. So it's rough. It's a bit rough for me. You have your troops, but you need supplies. Take this to purchase what you need. Yeah, 100 coins. A cart will take you to the gate of the ancients. Go now and carry out your task. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Uh, item. You'll have to forgive me as I refamiliarize myself with all the menus. Okay, so we all have our weapons. I don't know that we actually need to get anything. I mean, I'm sure getting items is not going to be a bad thing or equipment, but... Hello! Don't mind the boss. He gets like that sometimes. Perhaps I can help you out. Deals. Sorry, no deals today. Anything else? Absolutely. Uh, medicinal herb, healing seed, and an angel wing. I guess we are sorry, a medical herb. I said medicinal. Same thing, right? We'll put that on to Lord Bumpington. Here you go, my good friend. Anything else? Yes, I'll take another one. I don't usually buy these types of things. So this is a little bit different for me. Nope, that's going to do it. Anything else? Nope. Thank you. Do come again. Hmm... Okay, so before we officially 100% leave, what I'm going to try to do is save at the normal save locations, which are these churches. But I'll probably also save, say, if we're in the middle of the battle and we run out of time. I'll probably also save then, uh, like at the end of the episode, and then continue on in the next episode. That way, we don't have to, like run like a 45 minute episode or like a 12 minute episode because the next battle is going to be epically long so i sense you are headed into great danger bumpy can i be of any assistance yeah you can i want to save oh yeah you can raise people can't you promote cure raise i couldn't recall whether or not you could um 
I thought if people died in this, they were permanently dead, but I guess they can be resurrected. Cool. Shall I make a record of your adventures thus far? Please, do so. Like, it's been a while, folks, since I played. There, may we... Uh, my record of your exploits is complete. Will you continue your journey? I will. Nope, I'm done. May the powers of light always be with you. Thank you. Onward! Alright, so let's get out of town and let's get to doing some of the, the battlings. So, we should be able to get through at least the first battle before we basically run out of time for the episode, and I feel pretty good about that. So, we're going to be carted on over to the place, and it is here that we shall see the first of the turn-based battles with our squad and the tactics and all the good stuffs. Bumpy, goblins, rune fast, must be, a rune fast, rune fast, must be up to something. We can take him, Bumpy. Yeah, we can, maybe. I don't know. Move it, Furman. Find the key to this blasted door. Come on, we're almost in. Where's that blasted key? What? Blast it! He says blast a lot. I'm just, I'm just noticing this. Those fools from Guardiana are here. Yeah, we are. Oh, oh. Earthquake! Attack! Goblins and dwarves strike a blow for the honor of Runefast. Alright, let's get up here and get moving, folks. So we have our mage, we have our warrior, we have our archer, Hans, we have Ken the knight, and we have Lo the healer, or monk or something, I don't know what he's actually considered. Ken the, the knight, I'm going to attack from here, because he throws his spear. Alright, Ken attacks. He does five points of damage on the gut. Sweet. So we got a little bit of experience there. Low, you get to sit back because you don't do much other than throw heals. The Dark Dwarves are quite nasty. They can double strike, and if they do on Bumpy, I die. So we have to make sure that we don't put him in that position. However, we can put him in this position and murder this fool. I think we we probably won't, yeah, so we probably won't get the kill on this guy, if I'm being honest. All things being equal, probably won't kill him. Alright, let's go ahead and pew pew shoot this guy in the face. So six points of damage. I'm better. Oh, we get a double attack. Yeah. Han's pulling out the big damage numbers. Now, there's a good and a bad part of that. Yes, it's good that we did kill him in one shot. That is a great thing. Don't get me wrong. But the downside to that is we only get a maximum, I think, of 48 experience when we kill something. Like, that's the most we can get. So, if we didn't kill him, we would have gotten, like, 12 or 15 or something experience. And then the next person who gets the killing blow would get the full 48 or something along those lines. So, him getting the kill solo isn't necessarily great, especially early on. But again, I'll take it, you know. Like, we got 16 points there. If Bumpy gets this kill, which, in theory, he will, that should guarantee me a 48 experience. Or sometimes it's like 34, depending on what level you are. 48, there you go. So, yeah, sometimes it's nice just to leave. Like, I've left this guy with 1 HP, maximizing stuff. She should be able to do at least 1 damage, and that should give her a full 48 experience. 34, okay. So some people get less. I don't know why that is. I'm sure there's some reasoning behind it, but the game's not 100% transparent with everything, so bear that in mind. Okay, what we need to do now is cry so much. <laughs> no, uh, we need to figure out a way to lure the enemy in without getting completely surrounded or mauled by anything. I'm going to scoot up slowly. Try to keep everybody as safe as possible. Alright, the dwarf is moving forward. So Luke is hopefully strong enough to tank this up a bit. Four points of damage, no double attack, that's good. Goblin's gonna move over to attack Bumpy, that's fine too. I think Bumpy's got less defense than um, Luke and Ken. So... It's probably a wise idea to keep the other two up front and hope that they survive whatever the fallout's going to be here. Oh, good. Oh, that worked out actually quite, quite well. 
All right, we're gonna hit the Gabo in the face. All right, we're gonna attack you. Maybe we get lucky and take him down? Nope, not quite. All right, now she's got a chance here, but she could also very easily die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stupidly risk her. But we need to take down at least one of the dwarves. It's a lot less dangerous with only one dwarf standing. It doesn't mean it's not dangerous, it's just less dangerous. I'm hoping that Luke can make a move in. Um, I think we need to go with a heal onto Bumpy because we can't reach. It's just within like adjacent squares, so up, down, left, or right. So we'll heal him up to full. Four hit points missing is not super scary, but things can get out of hand. All right, Goblin's going to come down. Oh good, it kind of blocked her. So she shouldn't get hit by the dwarf. But that doesn't mean that the other Goblin's not going to move over and own her face. Oh, that actually worked out really well. Alright, it looks like I can finish what I started as Bumpy. Very nice. Alright, we leveled up. Very cool. Attack level increased by one. Defense level increases by one. And our speed increases by one. So all these different stats are critically important to our success. So please uh, bear that in mind. We're going to, again, try to focus the dwarf right now. We managed to take him down. Super fantastic. If not, eh. I don't like moving Luke into this position. But I don't think we have a lot of other options available to us right now. Oh, beautiful, a crit. That is that is ideal right there. Short of some weird shenanigans, we shouldn't lose anyone in this fight. Now, bear in mind, I have made several mistakes in the past, so it is still very possible that we can lose someone in this fight. But you don't want to lose people, because if you lose people, they're not on the field, they're not getting experience, not able to attack or bring anything to bear, so... You really, really, really want people to survive. Alright, so our maximum magic points go up by two. With Teo leveling. And we should be able to drop this fool and then recover all the hit points that Luke is missing. Hans, take him down, bud. Seven, defeated, 45 experience. And he leveled up as well. Speed increases by one. Eh, Alright. Alright, not ready to go up and fight him yet. Gonna start prepping, and I'm hoping he doesn't come down to fight us. I think I can stay there. About time you did something, Luke. You've been sitting on the sidelines for a long time. You know how hard it is to heal? They gotta use a lot of energy and special powers. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna want to make sure we can move everyone up and attack all at once. So he made his move. I think I can probably get away with moving Hans up to attack. This may be a mistake, but there we go. We did 5 points of damage. It's good. 17 points of experience. Um, yeah, let's attack from the other angle here. Get him, Ken! Yeah! Alright, so whoever gets the next hit should kill him. And I think everyone can reach except her, of course. Except her. I think we'll sit her back a little bit further. Alright, it looks like Bumpy's gonna get the, the push. Fall before the might of me! Alright, and there it is. 48 points of experience. Like halfway-ish. I think each level requires 100 points of experience. So you always want to try to maximize your experience when playing this, guys and gals. Fools, you have won here, but Lord Kane of Runefast is even now attacking Guardiana. Well, we're just like, like under-trained, under-developed warrior type peeps, right? So, you would think like the guards and everything else that's down there would be more than fine to deal. I, I don't know. It's fine. That creature spoke truly. We must return to help defend Guardiana. All right. Well, success is ours. Now, uh, bear in mind, guys, guys, I'm not gonna be looking at a walkthrough to play through this. I, I, I've beaten it a few times before. I don't know if I've ever used a walkthrough. I have glanced at one, I know that much, because I know there's lots of like hidden characters and things, and secrets that I've missed. So there's a, a very real, uh, like I'm going to tell you now, 
I'm not going to find every secret. I'm not going to find every character. But this game does have secrets. Like, maybe it would be, like, right here. You would search, and there would be something there. There's nothing there. So, sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's not, I guess. I I think I found a few secrets over the course of me playing this, but not a lot. So, just be aware of that. All right, so we got through the first battle pretty much unscathed. Sorry about that, folks. The earthquake blocked the road. Head north, but be ready for battle. No one enters Guardiana while we live. For Dark Soul. Death to Guardiana. Death to Guardiana. Death to... I, I mean, no. Not that. Alright, well, before we end the episode, which we're about to do, uh, and I will use the emulator save for this, I uh, just want to take a look around. So we have three goblins up to our north. I don't believe we can traverse the mountain, so we're going to basically have to go, like, in this sort of a pattern. And, yeah, it's looking relatively nasty. There's going to be... Wow, there's actually a lot of space up here. So we're going to have to go up and around, then we're going to have to come down, and then we're going to have to get across the bridge. And then I think we just have to defeat all enemies. I think that's what we have to do, or maybe we have to make it to this spot. Either way, folks, that's going to be a tale for another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. This is more along the lines of what my initial or my original intent for Throwback Thursdays was. Playing games that are legitimately old school. Now, don't get me wrong. I am still going to play those other games that feel old school. I think it's totally fine. I like the idea. And it's a good way of showing off some of the new games that still feel like these older games. So a lot of players that have played games like this are going to be like, Oh, that's awesome! And they're going to want to go and play those. But still, we get some of the old school classics that we get to play and enjoy. Anyway, the name of the game, once again, is Shining Force. It is an old school game from 1993, and it is available on... I don't have the box next to me, or the cover next to me of the collection, but it is in one of the Sega Genesis collections for the PS3. If you really wanted to get this game on a console and play it, I recommend you grab it that way, because it's really cool. I did play it before I actually played through it on the PS3 and beat it, and I got 90% through um, Shining Force 2 before I stopped playing. So, really fun, really enjoy it. Definitely go check it out, guys and gals. Grab it if you can, and just enjoy one of the greatest games of all time, in my opinion. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Give me that thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. If you want more information about the game, there's not much, but I'll send you guys links if I can down below in the description of the video. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will... See you later.